If you are employed by a family in Qatar to work in a home, you have both rights and responsibilities. These are listed in Law 15 of 2017, known as the Domestic Workers Law. It's important that you understand these rights and responsibilities and know where to go for help and advice should you need it. It is important to remember that you should not pay any fees and costs to find a job. The recruitment agent cannot demand any payment from you and your employer cannot deduct money from your monthly salary as repayment for the cost of recruitment. You and your employer must sign an employment contract before starting work. If you are in a country where there is a Qatar visa centre, you should sign an electronic contract before coming to Qatar. It's important that you understand your contract. Ask a friend to help explain it if necessary. You must receive a copy of your signed employment contract. Make sure to keep it safe. Take a photograph or give a copy to a friend so it can't get lost. You have the right to keep your own passport. Your employer may need your passport when you start work to issue or renew your Qatar ID card, but they must return it once any paperwork has been completed. In the home, your employer must provide you with a suitable room and food. You cannot be charged for this or have money deducted from your salary to pay for it. Your contract should state your monthly salary. You have the right to be paid the amount stated in your contract every month or by the third day of the following month at the latest. You should not work more than 10 hours a day. But remember that this does not include breaks for worship, rest or to eat. You have the right to a paid full day off once a week. On your day off, it is your right to total rest from work unless you have agreed to work on that day. At the start of your contract, talk with your employer if you want to spend your day off outside the house. If you feel sick, tell your employer straight away. They are responsible to provide and pay for any medical care you may need. Your employer should also obtain a health card for you at no cost to yourself. Every year, you're entitled to three weeks of paid leave. Discuss with your employer when and where you want to take the leave. If you don't use all your annual leave, you can carry it forward to the following year. After working with your employer for two years, you have the right to receive a return air ticket to go back to your country. If you want to leave the country, you are free to do so at any time. However, you should inform your employer about your plans at least 72 hours in advance. You can do this verbally or in writing. At the end of your contract, you also have the right to end of service benefits if you've worked more than one full year. This is calculated as three weeks pay for each year of service. It's important to remember that you have the right to terminate your contract. You can do this if your employer does not honour the contract or the law. If your employer or recruitment agent misleads you about the terms of your contract. If your employer or any member of their family hurts you physically. Or if the workplace is dangerous and threatens your life or health. But don't forget that the employer can also terminate your employment if you do not carry out your work as agreed in the contract. Or if you violate the law. If you need help or more information, contact the Ministry of Administrative Development, Labour and Social Affairs at 16008. Remember, you have rights and we're here to help you.